According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 36 traffic fatalities occur per day on average in the United States, and that's due to crashes involving an alcohol-impaired driver. Now, what follows is extremely graphic, but please listen, because it can happen to you. It can happen to anyone. It comes from a university study done some years ago. It was done before airbags were standard, but is still relevant because the physics of accidents don't change. Now, although today's cars are far safer, no safety device can save your life in a non-survivable accident because the laws of physics can't be reversed. Now, here's the scenario. You're driving at 60 miles per hour or 88 feet per second. Your speed is legal, but it's too fast for conditions and you lose control. Directly in your path is a large tree and your life ends in less than one second. Now, at one-tenth of a second, the front bumper and trim of the car collapses. Pieces of metal and plastic penetrate the tree up to an inch or more. At two-tenths of a second, the hood and its safety retainers crumple and smash into the windshield. The rear wheels are still spinning as the back of the car is thrown into the air from the force of the crash. The front of the car distorts, the crumple zones collapse, and the front fenders are forced back past the front doors. The structure of the car tries to absorb more energy than physically possible and begins to slow the terrific forward momentum of the car. But inside the car, your body is still moving forward at 60 miles per hour or 30 Gs. Now, your body weighs about 4,500 pounds. Momentum pushes your legs forward with so much force, your knees break. At three-tenths of a second, your body lifts from the seat, forcing the seat belt to its limit. And your broken knees are against the dashboard. The steel inner frame of the steering wheel bends under your death grip. The airbag has deployed, absorbing some of the energy of the crash, but this is a non-survivable accident, and no amount of safety equipment can save your life. At four-tenths of a second, the car's front 24 inches have been destroyed, but the back of the car is still traveling forward at about 35 miles an hour. Worse, your brain continues traveling at 60 miles per hour inside your skull until it violently crashes against the inside of your skull. The engine crashes into the tree and the rear of the car continues upward. Now, almost vertical, the rear of the car raises so high it scrapes bark off lower tree branches. At five-tenths of a second, your fear-frozen hands severely bend the steering wheel. The force of the accident displaces the steering column, pushing the steering wheel against your chest and abdomen, crushing your lungs and rupturing arteries. Blood begins to fill your severely injured lungs. At six-tenths of a second, your feet are ripped from your shoes. The brake pedal shears off. The chassis bends in the middle. Your head smashes into the car's body. The rear of the car falls back to the earth, and the still spinning rear wheels dig into the ground. At seven-tenths of a second, the entire body of the car is forced out of shape, and in one last convulsion, the floor of the car distorts, pushing the seat upward and forward, further pinning and crushing your body. Blood gushes from your mouth. Your heart stops beating. You are dead. Elapsed time, seven-tenths of one second. Please, everyone, don't drink and drive, and don't drive distracted. And for more tips, tricks, and money-saving ideas, visit goss-garage.com.